All right. Welcome back. Episode two on the return, right? This is how to specifically automate your fitness to get stronger, better looking, move better, and be healthier without taking away time from work or family. All right. So here's the deal. You're a dad. You're a businessman. You're married. You don't have a ton of time to prioritize your health and you don't like looking at the fat gut in the mirror when you get out of the shower, but it's just not that big of a priority for you, right? You don't want to be putting in the amount of attention and effort that you, that you think you need to in order to achieve the results that you once had, right? Because as a former athlete, um, former, you know, just recreational athlete. You don't even have to be a high level athlete, but when you were in you know, high school, college, young and single, plenty of time, plenty of time. You're on the hunt, you're on the prowl. Fitness and health and looking good naked was a priority because you had to land your wife. You had to you know, perform at a high level in order to, to get, get more money because uh, people wanna work with other good looking people, right? It's it's human nature. And so as you get into the second stage of life, I'll call it now the kids are here, your wife is already, uh, you're already wifed up and um, you've already got a job and now you're grinding your job, right? You're working or you started that business, you're focusing on growing it. It's like, dude, I don't need that fitness and health to be such a huge priority, but that's a lie. And that's the story we have to crush. We have to destroy it. We have to recalibrate your mindset around that so that you can create this new identity that not only is it important, but it's critical for long-term success, right? Because you cannot run a business and run a family when your body is going to shit. And so, I talked about the four pillars. I talked about the four things that matter and why they matter. So I'm not gonna go into that, but you've gotta have some sort of connection to God. You've gotta have quality relationships. You've gotta have money and you've gotta have some sort of fitness. You have to have health and fitness. These are the four pillars to build an epic life. And if you're not interested in that, then why the heck are you even listening to this show? Cause that's what this is all about. It's about having an epic life. I'm not interested in a second rate life. I'm not interested in two out of four or even three out of four. I want four out of four. I want it to be epic and I want to um, really truly thrive while I'm here. I wanna win, that's my game. I'm competitive as hell. I don't play uh, sports anymore, but this is the sport. Life is a sport and being a black belt in life is the game and in order to do that, you have to get incrementally better at all four areas, right? So that's the game. So today we're talking about the fitness quadrant. We're talking about the fitness pillar. How do we automate it so that it doesn't take away from our ability to produce money for our family, for ourselves, for our lifestyle, and as our ability to connect with family, right? Because I know myself, I've been guilty of going all in on the fitness and hey, if, I know that if my health sucks, life doesn't matter. And then I over commit and I over, invest in that fitness category. And I'm so damn fit that it's pointless to be that fit and strong, but yet I'm not making enough money. I'm not spending time with my kids. So that fitness piece, if not automated and calibrated properly, can be just as much of a vice or a problem for you. So whichever end of the spectrum you're listening on, maybe you're super fit, but your bank account sucks. This is gonna be helpful for you. Maybe you're super fit, and you train your ass off and you don't wanna do like a triathlon or something, you think that's really cool. And your relationships with your wife is strained. Your relationship with your kids suck. This is for you. If you are someone that is on the other end of the spectrum, it's for you too, right? If you're just, you can't push yourself away from the desk at work in order to go to the gym. If you cannot stop eating shit food, if you drink, every night to, to decompress and you've just put on 10, 20, 30, 45. It's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse. So it's definitely for you, but it's across both sides of the spectrum. If you're not holding that delicate balance, then you're missing out. All right, so let's get into it. I got five points. I'm gonna try to be brief and uh, be straight to the point. Number one, 
the most important thing. You have to define what winning looks like for you. This is often skipped if you do not identify and define the target what winning means to you you literally will waste your entire life going around in circles number one you could be putting a ton of energy and effort into it like i talked about and not getting the result because you're over training in a certain area and you're neglecting another area you could also be making this story that Oh, it's going to be so much work. I just don't have time for that. And you could be totally missing out on how effortless and easy it is to do it, to achieve what you actually desire, which could be a few small micro adjustments that you think you're going to have to do super intense CrossFit six days a week and be so sore and you just hate burpees. So you're just not working out. You don't ever have to touch that piece. You could literally go on walks with your family and lift for 45 minutes, some joint friendly, full body compound movements at a moderate intensity and get immense wealth and, and um, transferability to your life, right? Immense value from that tiny little bit that you don't have to die, you don't have to kill yourself. So number one, identify what you want. If your goal is to look good naked, to move well, to be healthy, to be able to run around with your kids till you're 80, then it's not that hard. You gotta move some kind of weight with some effort a few times a week, guys. It's 168 hours in a week. You gotta give me three. You can't get spare three or four hours. That's bullshit. And it doesn't have to be killing yourself when you're in there. It can be moving smart, you know, pay attention to, you know, your mobility and, and, and incrementally increase that as you're training. There's lots of ways. We've become very efficient at that. Longevity is the game. Looking good naked is the game. There's a very simple blueprint to training. I'll get into that later. So define what winning is to you. Do you wanna be a competitive athlete? Do you wanna complete a challenge? Are you bored and you wanna do something that requires a high level of cardiovascular fitness or strength? Then we can tailor it to that. But if you just wanna look good naked and be a better dad, it's not that hard. Number two, you need some sort of tracking system. Create a Google Doc. We have one, I will gladly send you for free. You can customize it and make it your own. Track what you actually do. Data is king. You know this, if you're a man and you're a businessman and you're a husband and you understand that you have a budget for your family to live off of, you have sales metrics that your boss holds you to, you have, um, a bank account, if you've ever played a sport, you know, they keep score to win the game. They have statistics. Certain things matter. To ignore the metrics, to ignore the data, at your that's at your peril. It's literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but so many of us don't wanna be bothered with tracking our food, with seeing how many days we're actually getting eight hours of sleep, with seeing how many days did I actually work out and do what I said I was gonna do, track, the data. So you need a hub for that. You need a dashboard. This is one of the cornerstones to our mentorship program. I overlooked it for years. I feel like, how could it be this simple? All I do is track these couple things. That's the game, guys. You want the look behind the curtain. I'm giving it to you. It's about the accountability and getting yourself clear on the facts that allows you to make educated decisions. Now you throw in a coach that can analyze that data for you and accelerate you because you he knows exactly what that data means and how to tweak and adjust it. That's what you're paying thousands of dollars for. It's not that complicated. It's just doing the work, okay? So that's number two, you've got to have the data. Number three, create your perfect day, okay? Once you know what you want to do and you've started to understand that I'm going to have to do certain things each day. Let's figure out what those things are, put them on our spreadsheet, and then let's put them into our day. Planning is critical. That's why this is number three. I'm going to go from when you wake up, when your meals are getting in, when's your workout time, what's your daily movement, how are you structuring that, when is that fitting in, when you're planning for tomorrow, when are you reflecting, what time are you going to bed, Building all these in, these are your big rocks. Once those are in place, <laughs> now you can fit in the rest of the stuff in your life around those and these become non-negotiable. 
if you can do these and get them to where they're automated. And that's just what you do and you get everything else done inside of those uh, parameters. Now it becomes automatic and you've started to build your life, your perfect life. Number four, once you've built out that day, now let's find out what we're actually gonna do for our strength work. We need to strength train with weights three to four days a week. Being stronger and harder to kill is a critical part of that fitness piece. You have to do resistance training. What I want you to find and what I want you to pay attention to here is you need to know what level you are currently at and you need to find a program or a coach that allows you to move to the next level. That's it. If you're serious about this, you cannot go from zero to 100. I, I, I cannot stress, <clears throat> pardon me, I cannot stress this part enough. You can't go haul in on a Olympic weightlifting program. You can't go all in on CrossFit or Orange Theory or F45 if you haven't done shit in 20 years. If you are not doing any walking, if you're not doing any kind of resistance training, then you need to start really, really low. And the beautiful thing is you are gonna have a ton of low hanging fruit You'll get a ton of bang for your buck by doing something super simple, probably 20 minutes a day, probably lifting three days a week for 30 minutes. You will get exponential return on that investment. And then as you do that, you build a foundation, you then can bump it to four days a week for 30 minutes or five days a week for 30 minutes or three days a week for an hour, hour 10, where you're pushing a little harder, but to go, from nothing to extreme is a recipe for disaster because you're gonna push your body, you're gonna get some short results and something's gonna tweak out and you're gonna end up on the sideline with an excuse for, for yourself not to continue and that's gonna perpetuate this cycle. You have to be consistent across a very long amount of time to win this game, to be fit, strong and healthy, look good, move good. You should be getting better as you get older, not worse. So if your strength training program doesn't allow you to increase your mobility, to feel better, to, to eradicate, you know, joint pain, achy knees, bad back. It should be making those things eliminate, not get worse as you get older, then you're on the right track. All right. And then the last piece, number five, you just have to adjust course based on the data. Once you've laid out the plan, nothing really changes there's going to be lots of tweaks and adjustment, but this is part of the identity piece. This is just what you do now. This is what you do. It's really that simple. Working out, moving your body, making time for yourself allows you to thrive as a father, as a producer, as a husband, so that you can be the best version in those other three areas. You have to make this not just a six week or a 12 week or a, or a, uh, a quarter of your life, this has to fit in that this is what I do now. And then once that's in place, you fit all the other pieces in. The hard part about this is that there's already something there. So it seems simple, but it's definitely not easy because we have to eliminate something to input this in there. So what are you willing to eliminate? I'm gonna ask you that now because you need to start to get these wheels turning. What are you willing to eliminate something that's already on your plate that's preventing you from achieving the goals that you desire right now. So most likely there's a story or a limiting belief surrounding that's causing you to take that action, right? Oh, I don't quite have enough money. I need to work all these. My boss will fire me if I don't work 12 hours a day. You don't understand. I have this team, right? So there's limiting belief around work for a ton of us. How can I delegate? How can I hire? How can I check my bank account to get to the place where I know that I, I'm enough is enough so that I can put and channel some of that energy and attention toward another quadrant. It's critical, right? I need to smash that old story. Maybe it's with your wife, with your kids. Oh, I can't pull away from them. I work so much that when I'm home, I'm home. How can I incorporate physical activity with my family, with my spouse? I share about me and Jen going on walks. You know, my kids will live at the gym. They will come to the gym with me. I will do physical 
um, things with them in order for them and me to bond as we're getting in this quadrant. So there are ways around it, but it involves changing your identity, changing your stories and breaking those limiting beliefs that are preventing you so that you can solidify in these changes and make them part of who you are and not just something you're doing temporarily. That's all I got. Wrapping it up again, as always, join our Facebook group. Um, Project Unshakable, Unshakable Families one. And um, if you're interested in making fitness a priority, if you wanna follow the blueprint, you can always reach out. This is what we do. We're professionals at it. We have it down to a science. We can do it remotely or we can do it in person where we coach you through how to move better, how to lift better, and how to make strength training part of your foundation. All right. I love you guys. Let's have a great day.